Sheets. I'm back. This is a math sheet that is attached to your um, actual email as a separate attachment. You can just print it and I cut the thick line so that we have some equations or what we call number stories on the side and the answers over here. If I was laying this out with a student, we would have these in beautiful little wooden tiles, but that's fine. If you just have a little um, bowl of these numbers, as I lay them out, if they're not familiar, we might go over them one more time. And uh, This is three, this is nine, this is eight, but they should be by now. If they're having some six and nine uh, differentiation problems, you could reinforce that there. Um, and now we have the equations over here. You have the option to cut these to make them a little further apart if you really want to. Um, because we are jumping a step or two here, but this can be done easily um, at home with you if they can count um, up to 11, and they can do this work um, with a little number recognition and some practice and you nearby, okay? And some of them have mastered this a while ago. So we're trying to loop back a little bit. We're gonna do just fine. So let me just move these out of the way. Just wanted to show you what that looked like, and we'll look at these one at a time. So if I was setting up two put together with nine, you just need to have at least 11 objects because they can keep putting these back in the bowl. Two, one, two, put together with one, two, three. I need some more room. I'll move my numbers over. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, a lot of it is done with bead bars in the classroom when we actually slide them together. If you've ever seen the addition um, with bead bars that has a little slot, we slide our bars together so you can slide these and actually put them together. So physically doing uh, the act of this operation and then count them and try to get them to always to count from left to right. It's a good habit to start and to count in a nice line. One, two, three, one, two, I can't count and think seven steps ahead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then they would search their numbers and find that eleven and put it right there. And you have a nice control of error and a little bit of self correction in this set, in that you have just the right answers for the equations that are provided. Have fun!